the goal? I mean, what what did you see when you got the ball there at the midfield? Uh, I was thinking that we made the adjustment that I should just go in and play off Charlie. Every ball that drops, pick it up and see what's on. Either play Dion or go myself. So. Uh, I just picked it up in the midfield, I think, off an interception or a pass. Just turned around and saw two guys in front of me, but I could see behind them there was a big gap behind, uh, between them and the goalie. So pushed it by and just went for it. Your defense was very good. Wasn't very it? good, yeah. They're smart. They play the outside line. Um, I mean, good technical guys. They play the ball around. So. Uh, good team, good team overall, yeah. Were you nervous coming in? You know, this wasn't as big a crowd, I don't think it's Barry and I thought and everybody else, but it's your first significant home game. Yeah. Were you a little nervous? Uh, I mean, it's on TV and everything, but I don't know, I don't really get nervous. It's more like I get over excited, you know. I just want to get a game already, like Thursday night and even this morning I woke up like super early, just like I wanted to play already, so I always get over excited, like getting uh, to get on the field and play because I know I have the most fun when I'm on the field, so I always want to get out there and play, especially in big games. Yeah. I, thought, I thought they had the first 15, 20 minutes. Um, obviously the goal helped, which, you know, what was our conversation before, what was my big concern? Uh, without Schmetz, uh, we lose that head ball. And that head ball was the biggest problem all night, I felt. You know, their long throw was always dangerous, even though it was kind of like we're okay. Uh, he got them their goal. And uh, without Schmetz, you know, we didn't dominate that goal kick. And so everything kind of came off of that. And then all of that picks up the next ball and kind of runs out of that. Um, so, you know, with that being said, um, after the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought we you know, changed the game. Um, I thought we started to pressure better. I thought we started to step in. We got UCLA kicking the ball. We started to get on the ball. And I thought the last 15, 20 were us. And obviously, I think we went into halftime with 10 foreign shots. Um, came back out, and I thought we had great energy in the second half. I thought we hustled all over this field and fought. And, and uh, you know, Ema gave us a great goal. Uh, and then right at the end of the half, you know, we let them have two looks on goal. And we had our two looks. And at the end of the day, ended up in a tie. <laughs> you know, um, I thought the subs we made, uh, in particular, uh, Josue, uh, came in that midfield, uh, you know, and, and really started to change the game a little bit. Yeah. Um, I thought that um, Fifi was, in my opinion, was the best player tonight. Absolutely. I thought he was unbelievable, both moving the ball around. I thought he settled in. Right. Um, so, you know, the reality is, um, you know, it's a game in which, um, you know, I... I'm okay with it because uh, on one hand I felt like we had enough chances to to win the game. On the other hand, we you know certainly are playing a good team. We you know had a couple you know very good looks. The, the one thing I thought we were missing tonight though we we just didn't get the final pass. You know we, we had how many chances where just if it's three yards shorter then we walk it in. You know and, and we right. I mean, we played you know Javi had a couple and. You know, Dom broke in once, and, you know, Dion, you know, had two or three where he got behind the defense, we gave him the ball, and it just got to the goalie. I mean, each one of those were, you know, were as, as a result of good build or good plays, and the final pass, which was there to be made, we just didn't make it. We were just a step off. Yeah, um, and Ted, it took a 60 yard run by your freshman to <laughs> right, get so, it done. So he just picked it up and ran with it. I thought Brandon Brock played yeah, very well for a freshman. He so, did. So don't get me wrong, right? it's just the reality is, you know, when you have Schmitz, he wins all your head balls. So, I thought Austin played pretty well, so I mean, your really first big opponent, yeah. and he, except for the goal, he was pretty yeah. clean. Yeah, he was good, and then, you know, it's funny, everyone's like, oh, Charlie got in the game, I go, I needed Charlie's head ball. Yeah. And, and Charlie did well, he gave us good minutes, good yeah. layoff, good hold, and got on the end of a couple of head balls, and looked like he made a nice through ball in the box. You know, so, uh, like I said, I mean, but what, really, Charlie was critical for us, because I needed him back on those throw-ins. I needed one more guy in the back to pick yeah. up those throw-ins. And, and when he went back there, he started to win those balls, and you know, all of a sudden, that became less dangerous. So, like I said, it's um, you know it's a game where you know you, you kind of play and you move on a little bit from it, and uh, um, you know obviously we're, you know we're a better team having played this game.